Hey guys, it's Crafty Carter here. Wanted to talk about the automotive Bluetooth power distribution unit. I've uh, got a software update. Wanted to show it off. As you were probably aware, the device is set up to since when you uh, turn the vehicle on, when you turn on the ignition, there's a distinction there, um, when you turn off the ignition and when you turn off the vehicle. Um, turning on the vehicle means inserting the key and turning it on. Um, Start of the ignition, of course, is getting the engine going, and then ignition off, engine off, etc. Um, each of the eight channels on this device can uh, sense those transitions, and you can tell them to turn on or off at those transitions. So let's uh, show you how that works. Let's put the uh, screen on here, okay? And uh, let's program the first circuit, large lamp. We will set it up as a 10 amp circuit. Whoa, it's bright. We will uh, tell it to turn on with the engine and turn off with the engine. And why don't we dim that down a bit? And let's make it modulate fast. Okay, I'm happy with that. Let's save that and. Uh, Let's turn on a constant current circuit. Constant current. We'll set it to burn at one amp. And we'll set it to turn on manually and turn off uh, with a delay on the engine. Cool. We're at one amp. We want three amps. Perfect. Okay. So the system is now uh, programmed. We have two circuits on. The constant current source is set up to provide one amp of constant current, plus or minus uh, 100 milliamps. And uh, the large lamp is set to go at 44% due to cycle down to about, well, it looks like about 25%, modulating at high speed. Um, and uh, the ignition is currently off, as you can tell by the system voltage is at 12. Bolts. We'll turn it on. Okay. And the system is now uh, on. When we uh, now turn it off, we told the large lamp to shut off with the ignition, and we told the constant current source to shut off after five minutes. Now I programmed this right now to not be five minutes but to actually be about 30 seconds because about well, five minutes is way too long for testing. Um, even the 30 seconds is a little long but uh, well it'll suffice. Um, so anyway that's pretty much everything uh, everything we've done. Well there you go. Circuits off after the 30 second delay. That's where we're at right now. Um, oh one other cool thing we've done here is we've put a uh, turn everything off button in the upper left hand corner. I might put a uh, you know, are you sure confirm kind of button there so it doesn't uh, so you don't shut off something important on accident but I thought that was a convenience feature. If you just wanted to shut down everything you could do that easily enough. And the uh, next thing to do is to program the uh, inputs from your phone and uh, then pretty much the firmware's done. Then you're just, uh, yeah, that's that would be all of the features uh, completed. So I'm pretty excited about it. As you can see, we now have both voltage and uh, core temperature of the device. The device is currently 30 degrees Celsius, um, and I suspect well, it's summertime here in Atlanta, and my office is not air conditioned at the moment. Uh, it's probably 25 in here, so. Um, device is about 5 degrees above ambient, but we also have uh, heat radiating onto it, so uh, pretty good. Anyway, um, thanks for paying attention, and uh, we'll hopefully get this up on Kickstarter here very soon. I feel like I keep saying that at this point. Um, we are trying. There's a lot of content that has to be created, a website and videos and uh, spit and polish that an engineer like me and my partner who's a scientist not 
really good at, but we're working on it, and we'll get there because we really want to uh, get these in your hands, and uh, we want to build them. And uh, once you guys, you early adopters, uh, say it works, we want to manufacture them or find somebody who will, and uh, and make a business out of it. So appreciate it, guys. Take care.